Thank you, sir. May I have more than one question if I go back? Yes, yes. Thank you. Mr. Didad, if you quote Acts 2.22 where Peter says that Jesus did by, the, by God's power the miracles, which is right, then why would you not accept what Peter says in, later in the book of Acts, particularly 4 verse 12, uh, about under no other name is anyone saved except by Jesus? Thank you. uh, you're not trying to prove by that that Jesus is God, I hope. Uh, no, I'm trying to prove that, uh, that if you take one source, then why not? No, no. I would be prepared to accept that. I said, look, he's talking to the Jews. Ye men of Israel, you Jews. Because Jesus came for the Jews. And in his time, Jesus' time, there was no other way. It was identical to in the time of Moses. In the time of Moses, we say Moses was the way to God. The children of Israel, they thought it through the golden calf. God didn't like it. He said, look, this is what I want. You have to go through Moses. Whatever Moses tells you about God, you have to accept. In the time of David, David was the way to God. In the time of Solomon, Solomon was the way to God. In the time of Jesus, Jesus was the way to God. In the time of Muhammad, he is the way to God and for mankind for eternity. So in every dispensation, the man of God is the firstborn of God. He is the representative of God and as such you must listen to him. That's what it means. So I accept that. That the people, the Jews, they had no other way because there was no Muhammad there. If they wanted to follow Jesus, they must listen to now Peter, he's represented. Peter says, look, this is what Jesus wanted you to believe, that he's your Messiah. Follow him, follow him. Salvation is yours.